G'day, it's Tony from GME. I'm really excited to share with you a brand new EPIRB product from GME known as the MT605G. Now if you've been around the boating community for a little while, you might have owned boats for many years, you'll know that new EPIRBs don't come around all that often. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The development and testing procedure for a new EPIRB takes us a very long time and to get the device approved for sale also takes a very long time. There's a couple of key differences between the MT605G and previous EPIRBs from GME. The first thing you'll notice about the MT605G is the packaging. Rather than being called a GPS EPIRB, the MT605G is now known as a GNSS EPIRB. What that stands for is Global Navigation Satellite System. So without getting too technical, GPS is actually a specific satellite constellation. GNSS uses both GPS satellites and also another constellation known as Galileo. And you may wonder, well, what does that mean for me? Quite simply, it means that this EPIRB will now receive positional information from a greater array of satellites, meaning that rescue authorities will receive your position information faster and more accurately than ever before. The MT605G features a 10-year battery life and a six-year manufacturer's warranty. So when you buy one of these beacons, you know you've got peace of mind for the next 10 years. It is also worth noting that you must register the beacon with your local rescue authorities. So in Australia, that's Australian Maritime Safety Authority down in Canberra. The online registration process is super simple and you must remember to update your registration every two years. So in the case of the MT605G, you'll be updating your registration five times throughout the life of the beacon. One of the other significant improvements we've made to the MT605G is the self-test function. On previous beacons, you had to lift the safety latch in order to use the self-test functionality. We've redesigned the top cap on the MT605G. The green button marked T on the top is now your self-test button. And it is very important that you remember to self-test your beacon to ensure that it is operating as intended so, in the event of an emergency, you know that the beacon is going to work as intended. One of the other key differences between the 605G and previous beacons is the secondary securing strap around the base of the beacon. We've completely redesigned this. It's now a hook and loop tape system and it is far better than our previous designs. It ensures that the beacon is not going to accidentally come out of the housing and bounce around in your boat when you don't want it to. And for anyone who might be replacing an older GME EPIRB with the MT605G, you'll be pleased to know that the mounting bracket uses exactly the same mounting holes as the previous beacons, so you don't need to drill any additional holes in your boat. One of the other key differences between the MT605G and previous GME EPIRBs is around the signaling light. When an EPIRB is activated, the MT605G has a solid state LED strobe light which assists rescue authorities in pinpointing the exact location of the beacon, particularly at night. The MT605G also includes an infrared light, again, making it much easier for rescue authorities to find you as quickly as possible. Now, arguably the most important point is that the MT605G is made right here in Australia, like all GME emergency beacons. If you want the peace of mind of having an Australian designed, engineered and manufactured emergency beacon, then the MT605G is the EPIRB for you. The MT605G is available right now through all GME authorised resellers. And if you've got any questions about this specific EPIRB or the wider emergency beacon range from GME, feel free to drop a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.